All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get right into it, shall we? So we are going to talk about the, um, well, sudden train wreck of L7 trade. The Yeah, they've, le they've left the building. They've exited, and uh, yeah, it's a wrap. So let's get into it, and we will discuss what has happened. And uh, yeah, I mean, again, with any of these platforms, um, just to go ahead and get this out of the way as I do with all of my videos, you know, there are no guarantees out here, right? You know, we are um, in this uh, as investors uh, together, right? So if any of you all who are listening to this that have uh, invested into L7 Trade, I hope that you uh, – continue to take profits along the way because you know these guys for you know uh, well they were open for some time however many months it was uh, I think four months or so and uh, you know really started getting some traction within the last like well two months and yeah it's just unfortunate that you know something like this a system and a a model that it does seem to have some um, you know, well, in terms of a system that would work where you have arbitrage, you know, between various exchanges and uh, earning its members uh, by using their crypto, um, which is the risk that we all run, right? If you put your money out there uh, at whatever, um, you know what I mean, type of investment um, approach that you take, you are, uh, well, obviously in crypto, you know, putting yourself far more at risk, um, than in other traditional markets. I mean, but obviously that's the attraction, right? Is the intense, um, you know, high yield that you get with these platforms because, um, yeah, you know what I mean? It was with L7 Trade, no, um, you know, no secret that it was a hype in terms of a high yield investment platform. And you, you know, when you're earning, um, you know, over 10% per day, in most cases, for people that were uh, on the platform, if you had multiple currencies, um, yeah, it is a uh, a risk and an unrealistic, um, you know, that they would be able to sustain something like that. Whether or not, you know, active trading was actually going on, um, it seems as though clearly, you know, at this point, uh, that it was not right to do something like this uh, and to just leave its members in an instant uh, in a well, typical standard, you know, exit fashion where they just unplug the, um, you just pull the plug, right? They took down their social media, their YouTube, their, uh, I think they had something to the equivalent of Facebook, um, a Russian Facebook, VK.com. And they took down, they had a Twitter as well too. So um, I didn't hear about the, Twitter. well, I didn't see the Twitter myself because I'd actually never, I don't use Twitter, so I didn't. Uh, ever go over there to see what was going on, but I did catch glimpses of it. So yeah, I heard that the Twitter is down, and uh, I do know that they did pull down one of, or at least the the page that they their admins were keeping in contact with, uh, you know, members. So yeah, that site, the VK, and yeah, that's just you know unfortunate. They pulled the YouTube straight down. Um, it's definitely not there. If I were to, let's see, I don't think it's going to pull up their page. I mean, obviously it's not because they pulled it down, but I'm saying that they don't have their, uh, yeah, the channel has been pulled down. So yeah, all this happened yesterday. I mean, it's as simple as that, you know, and here you can see all of the, uh, different videos that are coming out. Um, this happened, like I said, just within, well, it happened yesterday. Uh, so that would be, uh, what time? I don't know. Well, over 12 hours ago now. So it is, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate, but it is done. And that is the, yeah, all the videos, you can see eight hours, it's, blah, 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 all these incoming videos about the L7 trade train wreck. Um, but that's the deal, everyone. You know, of course, this is nothing new. I mean, we, like I said, we've had platforms that we thought would be here for a while. EXP Assets was one that lasted for a long time. I actually went very light into that and, uh, you know, didn't really put much on the line, thankfully. But um, another platform that had, you know, well, 
<laughs> they even let you do tours of their um, mining facility. So, you know, don't get invested in any of these platforms uh, and diversify. I mean, again, if you're going to do it, as I luckily have done and have been able to maintain my sanity uh, through these kind of things because uh, on the one hand, yeah, I've certainly lost um, you know money. And with L7 Trade, I mean, I, I'm coming out, I guess, about even you know, because the money, you know, that the time spent into it, just the unfortunate thing, right? Because putting, um, you know, videos out that I did or, um, you know, unfortunately getting people into this, you know, from talking about it, I'm sure, because I got, I know at least five people who were active, um, you know, and hopefully they were taking profits out. So uh, thankfully the damage wasn't too severe, you know, on my end with uh, people that got um, involved with this. But again, you know, most definitely, you know, if you were wise about doing this, you can take profits out because your profits were only locked up, which was the other attractive part of this uh, platform. Uh, your money was only locked up for, you know, four to five hours or, and that you were able to disable the auto trades. You know, so there were a lot of points that made L7 trade um, something to continue to, you know, push for. Um, so like I said, I mean, in doing that, I put up more than I wanted to. Uh, didn't pull out profits as quickly as I as I sh should have, and didn't come out, um, you know, in, in the black, so to speak, uh, and you know, essentially slightly in the red, while trying to generate profits because it was doing very well, obviously. So you know, thankfully I was able to at least be near to um, my own investment into this thing. So yeah, the videos are there. Um, people are you know talking about this now as I am here. Uh, doing um, well over 12 hours, 15 hours later now at this point, uh, which is too late to put a video out. I didn't want to be, uh, you know, too hasty in getting things out like you know disinformation and all that. But yeah, I saw the signs. I mean, again, you know, they were leaving unfortunate, um, well, news announcements talking about you know, well, taking people's accounts and you know, closing them or whatever the case was, and you know, them threatening people for. A variety of reasons um, and you know all that so uh, hopefully yeah people took out profits and uh, you know you were not uh, and, and and hopefully you made something <laughs> of, of a you know you, you made uh, extra profits and that you know you came out in the in the green on this one so uh, yeah no need to ramble on this is it that's the deal l7 trades they have exited and uh, yeah um, I can click over here and show you guys that, as you can see, the site cannot be reached in the story. Not, not much else to talk about. But diversify if you are going to be into these platforms because it, it, this stuff, it's not for the faint of heart. It's as simple as that. There are a lot of, um, you know, uh, opportunities to earn, but you are effectively um, very much in a high risk um, realm and you got to get in and get out don't be a fan boy um you know what i mean unless you have profits and you're just working simply in profits and even then with your profits if you want to you know what i mean do extra good you know take those profits out you know it's sometimes hard to do but to if you have the ability to just cut your losses right then and there that is what you should do uh when you have the uh well foresight to do that so all right but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here that's it and uh, yeah, like I said, L7 trade. These guys are out of there. All right, but yeah, this is the channel. If you guys want to stay up to date with these platforms, what's happening? Um, there are other fantastic things that are going on. Um, you know, I have to say, right? You know, I had this meeting with uh, Darren. The interview, um, you know, spoke with him a little bit. You know, this crypto hands. I have to say, it's working. Uh, there has been a little bit of a lull in recent, um, you know, days. But uh, from what I understand, I mean, I do see other people that are um, getting this. And I think that the way that it works out is with the referral system, uh, things fall into the lower slots uh, first and then, you know, it stacks up however it does. So, again, um, yeah, the their matrix system, uh, the VCI is still doing what it's supposed to. Moonberg is still knocking it out of the park and Cash FX. You know, I mean, everyone knows that this, you know, the um, launch, I think, is in November. So, uh, yeah, big things on the horizon for cash FX. So, um, yeah, but we will no longer be talking about L7 trade 
and uh, continuing to um, just share what is happening with the other platforms that are still here. Um, so thankfully, I have diversified and hopefully others of you out there have done the same. And all right. All right. We'll talk to you guys on the next video.